हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एज यू डी आर आई एम मेघा योर न्यू इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर मशीन लर्निंग डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर अपडेट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी व्हाट इज मशीन लर्निंग एंड व्हाट आर इट्स टाइप्स मशीन लर्निंग इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ए आई दैट प्रोवाइड द सिस्टम्स टू ऑटोमेटिकली लर्न एंड इम्प्रूव फ्रॉम एक्सपीरियंस विदाउट बींग एक्सप्लिसिटली प्रोग्राम नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द वर्क फ्लो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग The very first step is to collect the data from various resources. The second step is to clean the data. The third step is to choose the correct machine learning algorithm in order to fit your data. The fourth step is to gain the insights from the model results. The fifth step is to visualize the data and take a correct decision. Now let's understand all this in detail. Quality and quantity of data that you gather will directly determine how good your predictive model can be. The process of gathering the data depends on type of the project that we desire to make. So if we want to make an ML project that uses real time data, then we can build an IoT system that is using different sensors of data. The data can be collected from various sources such as file, database, sensor and many other resources. The collected data cannot be directly used for the analysis process as there might be lots of missing data extremely large values unorganized text or noisy data therefore to solve this problem data preparation is done so we need to clean our data to remove the invalid values inconsistent values and split the data into training and test data sets The next step is to choose the correct machine learning algorithm in order to fit your data depending on the factors such as nature of data whether it's labeled or unlabeled where the type of data whether it's numerical or in audio form we choose the correct machine learning algorithm the next step is to incrementally improve the model's performance by adjusting the output parameters or rewards in each iteration the last step is to visualize that data and then make a correct decision data cleansing or data cleaning is the process of detecting and correcting the correct or inaccurate records from a record set it involves removal of unwanted observations fixing the structural errors managing the unwanted outliers and handling of the missing data why is it that important It is commonly said that data scientists spend 80% of their time cleaning and manipulating the data and only 20% of their time actually analyzing it. In this business world, incorrect data can be costly. Administratively, incorrect and inconsistent data can lead to false conclusions and misdirected investments. Types of machine learning. There are three types: supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Supervised learning is the technique of accomplishing a task by providing the training input and output patterns to the system. Unsupervised learning is a self-learning technique in which systems has to discover the feature of the input population by its own and no prior set of categories are used. Reinforcement learning is a reward-based learning. Reinforcement learning is an area of machine learning concerned with how software agents ought to take actions in an environment in order to maximize the notion of cumulative reward. Supervised learning is the type of learning where you have the labeled data. A training pair is passed into the machine which consists of your input vector and your target vector. If your target vector matches with the output variable it means that there is no error otherwise there is an error supervised learning problems can be further grouped into regression and classification techniques regression is used when your output variable is a continuous variable suppose if you want to predict height weight or sales in the market classification technique is used when your output variable is in the form of 0 or 1 yes or no suppose you want to predict that someone is having a disease or not having someone will subscribe for the term deposit or they will not subscribe then in this case you will use the classification models now the process is already known to you in supervised learning we have labeled data where the input variable and output variable is already known to us then we train and validate the model on a training data and then test on a chunk of data that the model has never seen 
In unsupervised learning, the data is not labeled, which means only the input variables are given with no corresponding output variables. Algorithms are left to themselves to discover interesting patterns in the given data set. Based on the similarity measures, the data is divided into clusters. The clusters are homogeneous within and they are heterogeneous from each other. As discussed, in unsupervised learning, we have unlabeled data. The input variable is known to us, but the output variable is not there. We train the model on the training data and then simplify and group the data. If the model helps to identify useful real-world patterns, your model is successful. Measuring the accuracy of prediction is domain-specific and subjective. Now I can hope that you can understand the steps in the unsupervised learning from the following diagram in a better way. Reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning in the context of artificial intelligence is a type of dynamic programming that trains the algorithms using a system of rewards and punishments. After the action is performed, the agent receives a reward or reinforcement from the environment and that is how it learns. Steps in reinforcement learning. Here, the input is known to us, which is an initial state. The output is no single output. Input state is fed into the model and observed by the agent. Then, we train and validate on the input data. Based on the input, the model returns a state. Decision-making function is used to make the agent perform an action. After the action is performed, based on its output, the agent receives the reward or reinforcement from the environment. This process continues in iterations and the model continuously keeps on learning from the live data. At every step, it presents actions from its states. Agent choosing the right step at each iteration is based on Markov decision process. As I've already told you, machine learning is of three types, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Inside supervised learning, we have classification and regression techniques, and in unsupervised, we have clustering techniques. All about these techniques, we are going to study in our upcoming lectures. If you like this video, subscribe now and share it among your friends. Thank you and keep learning.